Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Do you like vintage? Do you like antiques? Do you like the strange and unusual in things and people? Then you're in the right place. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead, take the time, hit that subscription button. I'd appreciate it. It's free. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and you guys down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day was or you can yell at me and say, I can't believe you left that behind. Today, you guys, it seems like it's a change of plans. We are here in Milroy, Pennsylvania, Big Valley Antiques. What I did not know, there's a flea market. So you can check it out here. Beautiful scenery. Look at that. So I guess today is going to be a twofer. Let's get out here and see what we can find at the flea market. And then we'll head inside to Big Valley Antiques. I'm glad I have cash. <laughs> I will say I'm kind of thankful this looks to be like a good flea market, not like one of those kind of flea markets, you know what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can find anything, you guys. Well, I don't know, it's 11 o'clock. It seems like a lot of people are kind of packing up already. So I'm not finding a lot, um, but I'm still gonna search. We're gonna see here. Um, ooh, what's that? Oh, it's plastic. All right, well, here's the deal. Most of them were packing up because it starts at 4.30 in the morning. Um, I did not know that. It is a weekly thing, so look out for that video next week. Um, I'm definitely going to come back. It was, it looked to be a larger flea market. Walking by a very large air conditioning unit. Um, you know, obviously with people packing up, it was a little hard to film because I had to make the most of it. I got a couple of things here. I think we'll head back to the car. We'll check those things out and then we're going to get inside to the antique mall. All right, guys. So here is everything I got. I got a very large Fenton milk glass hobnail swung vase. Loving that. I was able to get two of the paperback serendipity books. I am such a sucker for these. I love them. It just reminds me of my childhood. The graphics and artistry in them. Beautiful. So we got serendipity here and we got Hucklebug. I did get this really unusual salt and pepper shaker set. Now the fish does have a chip on it, but you can just turn it around. The interesting thing was we got this starfish. Who knew? Look at an anthropomorphic starfish. I did get 10 weighed whimsies. I was able to select the ones that I wanted. Um, I got 10 for $5, which I think I got some cool ones like the goldfish here the sea turtle i think this is an otter the little cats look at the orangutan a camel i think i got an owl somewhere in here look at the chimp he's so a giraffe and then last but not least i was able to pick up some jewelry here i love this piece do you see the sparkle there on the bag like it is insane this one's pretty, you know what, I have my flashlight. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see. I felt like maybe. Okay, so those stones don't appear to be glowing. That's all right. I still think it is stunning. So that's what we got, a hot mess on the back of the car. Let's get inside to the antique mall now, guys. Woo. Alrighty guys, we're gonna head inside. I think I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna start in the reverse of what I normally do. Let's get inside and see if we can find anything. Alrighty guys, as I said, we are actually starting in the reverse. Here I am at the very end of the building. I typically save this place for last. Uh, what I spot immediately right off of the bat were these antique or antique like snuffers um, so that you could have put like your little pills in there. A lot of times these would be popular by putting different fragrant uh, herbs or spices in there because, you know, deodorant, <laughs> there was none. <laughs> Those were $40 each. I'm seeing the Weller, the Bradford Apple there on the back. That one's priced at $185, which is a collector's price, uh, just not where we would need it to be. Though I will say, I think those little snufters um, or uh, pillboxes, that could have... There could have been money on that one. 
You see little Chrissy there with her beauty parlor. Get it, Chrissy. We've got some blue mold bunny here. They're keeping it diverse. I'm not mad at that. I will say at this point, I was having a hard time seeing because it was so bright out. I come in and I was like, I can barely see anything. Alrighty, guys, this booth here is one of my favorites here. Um, there's always like a wide variety of items, and I love that about a booth. The first thing that I spot ooh, was little boy blue. He's super cute. Um, however, this little like rocking horse deer here, little sassy pants there is only $8. There was no chips or cracks. So I do decide I want to go ahead and pick it up. It's very like American Bisque or Shawnee. Um, I think she's really cute and darling. I've not seen one like this before, so we're going to get her. Speaking of not seeing something like this before, I thought these chick sugar and creamer were really interesting. It's very stylized. I thought, oh, it looks a little modern. And then sure enough, right there on the tag, it says Department 56. Now, oh, that, there you go. It's stamped on the bottom even. They have a look to them. It's they're bright and they're whimsical. Uh, $14 for the set. I think I'm, uh, I was really struggling because they are more contemporary pieces. I think the price is right. I think the subject matter is great, um, but they're modern. So I, I ultimately decided to leave those behind. Now, up next was this mulberry glaze. Um, I was like, is that Van Briggle? And I didn't see a mark. And I love the fact that they put sure looks like Van Briggle. I mean, we are in agreement. Um, you know, initially I thought it was spot on to Van Briggle's mulberry glaze. I, I think it's a little off, to be honest with you. It is stamped 578, uh, the mold number. Hmm. But looking at it, mulberry, Van Briggle's mulberry glaze is not as opaque. So I ultimately didn't get it. The price just wasn't right for me to as a reseller. So check out these pictures. I'm absolutely loving the glass effect to these, that swirl pattern. We've got the iridescence to it. It is large. It's priced at $52. Um, I was like, this probably would fit into like a 15 by 12 by 10 box, but I did decide ultimately to leave it behind. Um, I think it would make a great vase rather than a pitcher. Speaking of vases, I'm absolutely loving these Jefferson vases here. Of course, the blue opalescent. This green one really caught my eye. Um, the opalescent effect on it is so thick. It almost reads like it is an opaline glass. Um, the difference being that we are seeing, of course, the green glass down at the bottom. To be opaline, it would have had to have been completely encased in the opalescent. Obviously, we're looking at some amber glass here. This is Westmoreland with its sticker still intact. Uh, really digging that again, especially with the mixing of the milk glass. So I think that, that was super cool. Kind of checking it out here. I'm not seeing a whole lot. I do see this mammoth, mammoth bunch of purple lucite grapes. They're priced at $78. Initially, I was like, oh, I'm not going to get those. However, I knew that somebody was very specifically looking for a gr uh, purple grape cluster. Um, so I do come back to those. This is really cool. I'm digging the lid pattern on it. A very feminine with that kind of dogwood floral on it. As the vendor did mark on there, there was a chip in the lid. And I always appreciate when a vendor puts and recognizes the damage on there. So this little milk glass with the blue crest, unfortunately, it was the pitcher. Again, I don't get overly excited about the pictures, so I did leave that one behind. Cute little nesting doll. She's priced at 42 oh, Let's see if we see anything else. Oh, I spot some ephemera. All right, so they are all antiques from the 20s and 1920s, so we're over 100 years old, which is awesome. This subject matter is a little too specific. Um, still cool to see, great condition. Got some little cookbooks here, both, well, I wouldn't say both vintage and antiques. It looks more vintage than anything else. I do spot some more ephemera, movie mirror, not really. Ooh, the bright eye book. What is, whoa. <laughs> What is going on with this? The fact that it's one eye is freaking me out. It's priced at $9. And I was like, oh, it's $9. I don't know. 
we have to inspect it further. Typically, I wouldn't spend $9 on a book. However, that one eye is really getting to me. I said if you liked it strange and unusual, you were in the right place. We're off to a run and start with it. Look at the giant fish. Oh my gosh, look at the bird. Ooh, ooh that one eye. Oh my God, it's going to get you. Little baby birds, you better be running. Run, baby birds. <laughs> I was going to eat a dragonfly there. You see it? So we do have some separation and discoloration. Oh, look at that. Just, just that one eye. Look at the owl here. At least he's winking, right? The lamb looks a little possessed. Again, there is your separation. And then I flip to the last, and the entirety of it is split from the uh, front and back cover. And I'm like, it's $9. Last page. You know what? Are we going to make the exception for this weird book? We sure are. Now, I do see what the vendor has labeled as a either ashtray or a cigar tray. Um, it's obviously a hand-turned wood that has been screwed, and it does have a nut and bolt underneath here that you'll see in a second onto the metal plate. We do have some splitting of the wood, which I would assume was somebody kind of tightening it a little too tight, and it did cause some splitting. Still a beautiful piece. It's priced at $39, fair enough. Probably 1910 to about 1920 is what I would say. Now, I did go up and get a basket, and then we have this guy caught my eye. It's a little cat figurine. He's actually a gum catcher, or you would politely put your gum <laughs> on this rather than dispose of it. You know, we want to keep it. Um, there might be some flavor left there, folks. These guys are right above these pink cat salt and pepper shakers. They're $9.95. I really... I struggle with it at $9.95. I would have ideally liked them to have been more at like seven or under, but it's unusual subject matter. So I did decide to go ahead and take a chance on these, right? We're going to put them in a basket. These are fantastic. These are actually from a woman's magazine called Goodies. Um, it was published monthly and then once a year they would take all of the monthly publications and put them into a leather bound book. I am fortunate enough to actually have one of the leather bound books and in it there are dozens upon dozens of these hand colored fashion plates. The Goodies magazine of course does include some black and white images which you're seeing here. Um, there is things to decorate, to eat, to dress, your manners, all of the things that early 1800s to early 1900s ladies should know, right? Absolutely stunning colors. The, the, the vibrancy of the colors, they've stood the test of time, probably because they, they contain some kind of lead in the pigment that they used. Look at that. The colors just jump out at you. Speaking of ephemera, I did find some postcards here. I did go through them. We're kind of double checking just to make sure. I'm looking for, again, really unique images or subject matter. It doesn't have to be specific to any holiday or any occasion. It's all about the artwork. Here we have a Valentine's Day one. Again, speaking of unique subject matter. I love the fact that the Cupid is more of a fairy with the butterfly wings. Um, unfortunately, at $5, I wasn't going to risk it. Um, however, what you do see peeking out there is one that I picked out. Now, talking about unusual, love this. Why in the devil don't you write? Now, we do have some uh, graphite or pencil there, Willie, way to go, Willie. And I think that I can lift that with a soft white kneaded eraser. We do have original inking on the front, which I'm not mad at that because I think that it adds to the aesthetic value of the postcard. We do have some script here on the back as well as a postmark of 1905. I can't make out the postmark date on it. That's okay. We got the copyright on the card. We're going to get them. And here you guys are seeing Franz Porcelain. This is actually a Taiwanese company. Now, their factories are in China. Um, however, they, it is a contemporary, it is a more modern porcelain. However, they use traditional Chinese techniques. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful. They did at one time partner with Kathy Ireland and they did a home collection. I was fortunate enough to pick up a 
peacock teapot um, plate under plate and spoon these were priced out of our price range which i'm not mad at because if you look at the prices on these the the value on them is phenomenal i don't believe that they publish publish produce a lot as well as the intricacy and the artistry that go into the sculpts liking the little sterling overlay on it it does appear to be that it is a stained glass so that is not a true ruby red um that doesn't again take away from its overall aesthetic appeal i did like that piece we've got some old matchbooks here um, from the 70s i don't know it kind of looks a little more like mid late 60s to me um so we're kind of peering around here don't see anything else now we are at the back of the store at this point, and there are a couple of things that I wanted to point out to you guys. Again, it's out of our price range, but the, I really wanted to capture these on film. The first in the box back there you're seeing is an eight piece bisque figurine set. Um, most likely it is a Japanese product, but these were little cake toppers. Eight pieces for $48, I think it's very fair. Um, understanding it's a little bit high for where I would want it to be. I do think there is some, some value still left on it. Now, the cat pin cushion, that was priced at $125. I'm unfamiliar with the manufacturer, but still thought it was really cool. And then this child, there's smudgy, I don't want to know why there's that smudge spot there, but the child's hanger here with the paper mache or, or the paper pulp head sculpted onto it is $59. Again, I thought that was super unique. All three of the pieces were definitely unique. I love them all. Definitely wanted to capture those on camera for you guys. Talk about wanting to capture something on camera. So at $800, we have a very large, and as the vendor has it marked as museum quality, it is a morning wreath. So when you guys are out there and you're seeing those 1800s um, hair receivers, the ladies of the time, as they were brushing their hair, they would clean their hairbrushes, put it into the hair receiver, and they would collect that hair, not to throw it away, but they used it for artistry. Uh, they would make jewelry, they would make florals here, and a lot of times members of the family, the extended family, and even the deceased, um, they would incorporate that into a mourning wreath. Um, $800 is an exceptionally fair, fair price on this, given the intricacy, the amount of hair and time that went into this piece, as well as, of course, the age. It is an immaculate condition. I hope somebody who gets that really appreciates it. Something I really appreciate is a sale, especially when it's 50% off. Now, there is low lighting throughout Big Valley Antiques, so these bright colors were definitely jumping out at me. Boo! <laughs> love her very ben cooper-esque i didn't see a manufacturer there's priced at five dollars individually making her only two dollars and fifty cents so we are definitely going to pick her up now we're not going to just get her of course we got to check out the other ones here the first one that catches my of course is a little witchy poo here it looks like she was a premium uh, i don't capture it here but on the back underneath her chin there it is stamped my fingers are covering it. Um, sending in two bars of zest apparently earned you a Halloween mask. So definitely got her. I think that's cool that she was a promotional item. This guy here looks like he's supposed to be a caveman. Could be wrong. He was kind of all right. Then this clown with the tongue out. Oh, that's weird on a whole different level. So of course we're going to get him for $2.50. Last, but kind of least, is our little princess here. She was a little too vanilla, so we left her behind. And we are still in the booth here with a 50% off. Now, I did see this old tin clapper. It was priced at only $7.50. The clown, both of the wooden clappers are present. Oh, heck yeah. There is some kind of discoloration to it, but I really like that. It kind of adds to like a creepy vibe. We have another one here. It looks like it's a flamenco dancer. I'm not overly excited about the subject matter. It is missing a wooden ball on the back. Um, but for 
$3.75, you know we're going to pick that one up. And underneath, you guys, look at this. It's a Fisher-Price school bus. So it is a pull toy with the original cord, might I add. And he does work. It's only $15. We're getting 50% off of that. It was only $7.50. So when you pull him, the bus's eyes kind of go up and down. And the driver there in the front, he, tilt, he goes left to right. Um, all of the people, including a dog, are present. They are the woodheads, so it is an older piece. Score. Talk about a score. Now, I am going to have to call this piece Artist Glass. It does have a rough Poncel mark here on the bottom. Um, it is definitely hand blown. I am loving that white into that bright orangey red. It is stunning. She's got a look to her. Uh, it very much is like a can can's dress, if you will, kind of flurring up there. $22. We do, in fact, get a discount on this of 20%. So we definitely picked that one up. I think it is bright. It's colorful. Great for the 4th of July, but I think that you could most certainly use this in the summer months and especially during the Christmas season. I kind of was waffling back and forth on this. I don't know why. I'm glad I picked it up. Now, the same vendor underneath here, and we're going to get to it in just a moment. The light was really playing tricks on me, you guys. Okay, Michael, calm down. Get the vase. Move on. <laughs> I am seeing this Fenton hobnail opalescent. In the oh, I knocked these over. They were two fiberglass um, bulb clip lampshades, forty-five dollars. That's not what we were down here for. We're down here for this piece back here. Initially, this bud vase caught my eye, and then from that bud vase, it jumped over to this Fenton piece. In the low light, um, I'm seeing on camera it is reading more cranberry on screen, and then I thought, what is that? Ooh, do you see that? It's not sharp or anything. It looks like it got overheated. $42. The vendor had it labeled as cranberry in the low light. It very much was reading the Fenton plum color. So we're going to go out here into the main aisle. There's better lighting. And I want to see if it is cranberry. Yeah, it is cranberry. Darn it. That low light had me thinking it was plum. If it was plum, even with that little boober on there, we were definitely going to pick it up at $42. Um, yeah. Probably would have been like a hundred dollar piece if it was plum, but it's not, it's cranberry. It's still really pretty, just not what we wanted it to be. We're going to totally change gears, go from glass to dolls. These are the 1950s dolls. Um, they are the Renew Wall, Renew Renwall, my goodness, dolls here. Um, they are fully articulated. The entire family is present. Now, they did make grandparents, and I do believe that they made um, an African American family to them. Um, I love this. I love there is some damage to the paint on them, but I like that because it makes them a little creepy. It gives them a little bit more personality. Um, their articulation is spot on. Uh, the colors are still good and, and crisp on the actual, the clothes. So we're going to pick those up for sure. Moving on to a different vendor, they have got the Marks Toy Super Circus Lithograph Toy with all of the people, all of the little accoutrement to it. They've got the center sage back there, the red circle you're seeing, loving the interior. You've got the sideshows in the back. You're seeing the crowds. Everybody's cheering. Everybody's having a good time. I'm a little sad because it's priced at $295, firm. Um, but it is an excellent condition. All of the pieces are there. It's a very reasonable price for this. It's a harder to get one, especially wholly intact. However, check out this piece. You guys, it's a $45 for this Vaseline stretched glass reticulated bowl and plate for, for both. There's also a 20% off sale. Oh, and you know that thing does glow. It glows like nobody's business. Oh my goodness. $45 plus 20% off. Of course we're going to get this. This is, I just, this is amazing. That was such a score. Then underneath, I am seeing this Victorian era, uh, late 1800s, um, 
stereoscope. I call them stereoscopes. Some people call them stereo views. Um, but obviously you have the viewing cards there. The cards go down into those little wire slots there. There's like this concaved glass with kind of like a, a tunnel and it makes it or it makes it appear that the image is 3D. This one does have a tooled leather eyepiece to it. Um, obviously it is locked up. There is 20% off of this one. We're going to get a close up of it here in just a second. Boom, there it is out and free. I do decide the handle is still present, which is really nice. There is some damage to the glass you're seeing down there. However, it does still work creating a 3D like image. I've never been able to find one of these affordably, so I'm definitely gonna pick it up. Here is everything that we've got in so far and we're only halfway through our shopping experience, you guys. There's still more to come upstairs. Again, like I said, the grapes are very specific to one person. They may come up uh, for sale if they decline to get that particular uh, grape cluster. So we'll see. But I'm really pleased with everything that we've got going on. Moving on, we're still downstairs, by the way. I do spot this clear glass swung vase. I fell in love with it, um, specifically that bottom. I've never seen that effect before. I was kind of eyeing it, side eyeing it, because the calcification on that looked pretty intense. I'm not going to say that it's on there permanently, but the amount of time that it would take to get that to come off really just didn't warrant me picking it up. As I turned it over, I did discover that there was also a chip on it, which was pretty unfortunate. Um, you know, two strikes against it. It was only $10. Do I think in the right collector's hands that it could be something I do, but I did leave it behind. This was only $1.75. $1.75 for this 1928 Pied Piper. It is full color. It is a smaller book. It is an overall really good antique condition. I'm loving this. Did I mention that it was only $1.75? Do you see the artistry in this? I love those super saturated blocked colors. Um, it just jumps out at you. Oh, look at that. Pied Piper's coming to get you. All right, guys, we're going to head upstairs here and I'll see you there in just a second. All right, guys, that is it for downstairs. We, I, I think we've done really well, um, but guess what? There's an upstairs. We're going to head up there now, see if we can't find any other really good stuff. I think we're doing really well. The fact that we've got some Vaseline stretch glass, that beautiful Victorian era stereoscope, and then we threw in some Fisher Price and some Ben Cooper Halloween mask. I said we liked it weird. Here we go, guys. Headed up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. And we made it upstairs safely, I will say that. Don't let this bare first appearance fool you. It is jam-packed full of stuff. Didn't really spot anything off of the bat, so we kind of moved on to my favorite booth. And unfortunately... This is the face of me patiently waiting to get into my favorite booth so I can record. That's right. It is the Vintage Sister. Vendor number 265, 20% off everything. Love the fact that she still has the chandelier there. This is a woman who really does have an appreciation for her vintage and antiques. It's always displayed beautifully. Prices are amazing. And the fact that there was 20% off, you know we investigated. The first thing that jumped out at me, amongst all of, of course, the beautiful glittery glass, I have to go for the tackiest piece, of course. And it's this little Lucite floral group here. Um, it's only $10, keeping in mind, we're gonna get 20% off, so it was only eight. Um, like most Lucite, at least vintage Lucite, it does have a fluoresce to it. A lot of pieces will glow, uh, or pardon me, fluoresce like an orange, orange, hello, green. <laughs> so I do pick that up. Now we are checking out more here, seeing if we see anything. I do spot that pink rooster back there. That was interesting. He's got his little rhinestone eyes. This is a Lefton piece. This is a vase, which kind of surprised me. I thought it was just going to be a figural piece. Um, yeah, she knows that it's left in. Well, has it in quotes? Girl, it is left in. They did a number of different pieces. Or no, is it Arnart? Arnart and left in both did these pink animals with the bows on them. So it is one of the two. It is one of the two, I'm not sure. 
we do have some figurines back here and I love the use. I've spotted this before. Um, people have taken vintage or even modern contemporary frames, used the frame and mounted it to a shelf. I think that is a beautiful way to kind of display some of your treasures as works of art. Cause let's face it, some of our vintage and antiques, it definitely is art, right? Checking, oh yeah, I do. I sure do see a single stem milk glass at Pern for only $38 plus 28%, 28, 20% off. No chips, no cracks. So of course we're gonna get it. I was very excited about that piece. This was super unusual. I have seen this bottom before. I had a piece that was um, the same bottom, but it was in an Amberina. The swing on this is really uh, interesting it wasn't priced even with a discount where i would necessarily need it to be because i don't know what it is um so i did leave that one behind what i didn't leave behind was this little cutie here which is the fenton opalescent swirl optic <laughs> rose bowl 15 dollars with an extra 20 percent off making it only 12 dollars Sure did pick that up. I think that is absolutely beautiful. Again, I am a sucker for the opalescence. There's just an ethereal kind of effect to the glass. So I definitely want to pick that one up. Then I spotted this. Talking about cake toppers like we saw downstairs. This one isn't as refined. It's a little bit more kitschy. It's only $12. Now it is in its quote unquote original box. It's missing its lid, but it has its underbox to it. Um, I do see these little weirdos. Eh. It's okay. $8, good price, especially with 20% off. I did test out if um, those eyes fluoresce. They don't. There is another one with yellow eyes that do fluoresce. These little rooster and hen here, little wind-up toys. Those are okay. But I do, in fact, get the circus cake topper train. Heck yeah, we do. It's adorable. Put your little candy, candles in there. Oh, this booth is just a wonderland. Um, what do you want? They got it, including Pyrex, blow molds. You want Bistol? You want vintage Halloween? You want vintage wax pack cards? What do you want? Nightmare Before Christmas? Oh, they got it. Um, everything is 30% off throughout. Now, they are priced with the discount, it's going to end up being under retail. With it, Say you didn't have a discount, it would be at retail. Um, so the margins are a little tight for me as a reseller however i will say as a collector you can do pretty good in here you've got the pyrex butterprint um these individual these i think are half quart um that's a 49 so really with the discount you're talking about what 35 for it which is not unheard of i didn't check out the crazy daisy there um it it's just unfortunately more common, though I will say I think that there's a certain aesthetic appeal to the Crazy Daisy. Again, lots of Christmas. <laughs> there's even a cow, because why not? That Santa and reindeer is $1,400. You'd get 30% off, but definitely digging the stacked one here. That is a little bit more of a contemporary piece. Um, I like the Mickey. Love the Santa's Workshop. They even have Pokemon cards here. I did see this, um, it is a vintage, it's, it's the spider honeycomb. He, he does not have a whole lot of resale value, which always surprises me. I found him one time before, and that kind of saddened me because I think he's a really cool piece and I think that he deserves much more value, more collector love. Now, this place I have pulled a couple of things out of. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It very much reminds me of my grandfather's bar area, if you will. His workshop, it was a little cluttered. <laughs> um, so I always love stopping in here. I do see this little, it is a candelabra with a little monkey hanging off of the palm tree here. Priced at only 12 bucks, which I think is exceptionally reasonable. I'm not the best with aging a lot of metals, especially brass. So I think it was really cool. Do I think it was worth $12 to a collector? I do. Do I know that there is additional value on it? Frankly, I don't. Um, I didn't really spot anything else, but I always love capturing this on camera because it's just, it's nostalgia to me. 
We go from that to a little bit more refinement. Obviously, we have got a lot of lighting and lamps here. Um, some are vintage, some are refurbished, some are kind of pieced together. I am loving this shade here, this bridge lamp. Could you imagine having that for Christmas? I mean, how stunning. You got your little steampunk ones back here. Loving the moon and stars on the milk glass, that lampshade made to look like the, you know, the the 1800s or earlier oil lamps. I don't know why that style was so popular back in the 80s. Here we are, guys. Fabian's Funky Finds. I love this place. You guys, such good stuff. Obviously, you're going to see a lot of mid-century modern. It is super popular. Uh, I did have the honor and the pleasure of getting to meet him today. Thank you so much for being so welcoming. Um, I was shocked. We have got the Bird of Paradise um, candy dish. You normally will see the figurines. It is hard to find the actual candy dish, obviously an avocado. Here we have got an amber glass hobnail orb vase. Agreed. 32. Definitely love that. Love, love, love that. And I don't see it initially, but do you see that blue swan? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. We're going to come back to it. I was really debating on this now the candy dish is it is below retail um so it's an exceptionally good deal for a collector not where i need it to be but that orb was really just speaking to me there is some mexican pottery and of course i have to go to one of the tackiest things in the booth which is this pineapple set uh because why not darn it if you're gonna have a good time you may as well have a good time loving the bent wire uh tree back there this was interesting. It's kind of got that Coke bottle glass, artisan glass with the waffle pattern to it. it. Really interesting. I liked it. It was unusual. I did ultimately pass on it because the color wasn't dynamic enough, though I will say sculpturally, I thought it was great in a different color, something a little bit more vibrant. It would have sold me. Again, a lot of art glass that we're seeing here. We do, of course, have some... The award, some Murano. This is Swedish. The little uh, amber glass squirrel here. Super cute. Only $24. Not bad. We have an original sticker on there. Not familiar with the designer or the maker of that piece. Always some good stuff. Love the little capiz shell lamp there. Relax, it says. There's even records. And I gotta say, he's got some really good musical taste here. Just saying. Just saying. Little Tina, some Beatles, Journey, Eagle. What? I said it was good. <laughs> All right, guys. And here at the front, we are seeing these the ancient, ancient Sands sculptural. This one is a vase. You can kind of see the paperwork pop popping up back there. I love these pieces. I had the pleasure of finding one and selling one previously. Like the Chinese, the jade-like material. That was super cool. I like the contrast between the jade and the sculptural bone. I don't think that it was actual bone, but made to look like. All right, and we are back to where we started from. So I ultimately decided I'm going to leave the Viking. What I didn't notice is that, I don't know, but we have some blue neek here with the original Viking. This is the older Viking sticker. Um, stunning condition. It's only $18. Yeah, we're going to get that beautiful piece of glass. Look at the color on my hand. Viking just does it. Their color set. Look at that. It looks like I'm underwater. They make such good glass. And of course, I did have to get the orb. The hobnail, the amber hobnail orb. I've bought in two pieces similar to this, both in a clear glass as well as in an amber glass uh, cylindrical um, piece. Now, this I thought initially was Blanco. However, that starburst bottom that we're going to get to, there it is. And then I was like, whoa, this is really, really trippy, isn't it? Whoa, man. It's like super far out. But yeah, that bottom definitely isn't Blanco. Could be wrong. If I am, let me know down in the comments. And then I got a little carried away with it. Whoa. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Uh, this piece I love. It is a three-piece set. There is a little chip here on the lidded... Um, what is it? Sugar. Uh, it is, of course, the Edwin. We I love this poppy pattern. There's just something about it. I... <laughs> 
I think it's beautiful for all three pieces. It was $5. Does it have some flaws to it? Yeah. At $5, I wasn't going to leave it behind because I think that this would be stunning in an autumnal or a Halloween display, a more high-end mature kind of Halloween display. It was $5. How am I going to leave that behind? I can't leave that behind. We're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> A great Art Deco box here with an original Bakelite handle. Price is only $16. I love this. Is there some condition issues to it? Yeah, but I'm going to tell you what. I love the condition issues on this. Loving that pinstripe that is going around it. Turns out it is pilioid. I did look it up. It's definitely far below the comps on it. However, this one does have some condition issues. Might hold on to it for a little bit. I love Love the deco vibe going on with that. And I do. I can't but help love the condition issue on that one. So we're going to pick him up for sure. All righty, guys. Moving on. Oh, a sale. Any tag marked in blue is 40% off. So that means I'm going to look at everything not highlighted in blue. Right? Does that happen to you guys too? Loving the little Ralpo Valentines. The little creeper there. What are you doing, sir? You shouldn't be a planter. You should be minding your business privately, not out here in the public like that. My goodness. Again, super mid-century. Got a little bit of the Mexican-esque pottery going on. Some treasure craft back here. Spun, spun aluminum. Look at the lines on that mid-century lamp. Lots of brass. I have definitely gotten to develop much more of an appreciation for the brass. Again, this is going to complement milk glass, amber glass, pink depression glass. Add in some black. Add in some of the moss green glass that was so popular back then. But mix that with the brass. Super high-end, super luxurious look here. Now, this looks like it is either a McCoy or an earlier Roseville. I, I unfortunately couldn't distinguish that. Uh, terra firma art. I have a tendency to call it earthenware. Beautiful. Uh, a little bit too large to ship. We've gone from mid-century into kitschy here. It is, everything is 25% off. Of course, we're going to look for red and green for additional discounts. And I was like, hmm, these are very Arnart, um, ask to me. I'm like, well, how much is it? Focus. Well, it says, there we go. A set of three for $15 plus 25% off for all three. Like, seriously, what is going on today? The deals. I snatched all three of those up. I sure did. Now we do have some prettier, it's very feminine vibe to it. Look at that red apple. Oh my goodness. Blanco glass. Price out of our price range, but it was a stunning piece of glass. I mean, do you see how saturated that red was? So I'm like, okay, red and green, red and green, because I saw this piece. It is Nippon. I do decide to pick it up and look at it. But again, you know, this is one of those things as a reseller. Sometimes you'll look at something and you're like, I love that. But that's the thing. It's I, I love it. You know, are my customers going to love it? I think some will. Do I think that there is enough that are going to be interested in this piece to warrant getting it? I did not. So I did leave that one behind. Um, you know, they say buy what you love. And I definitely try to. A lot of the things that I pick up, while I do appreciate the fact um, that a lot of people love them or I think it's super cute or I think it's clever or weird, that doesn't necessarily mean that I would want to decorate with it. So I often will buy things that I appreciate um, uh, and hope that... <laughs> <laughs> that I'm buying the things that other people are going to love. It's worked out pretty good 98% uh, of the time, but there's always going to be that 2% of the time where you kind of miss the mark. That's just the name of the game. Love this piece of Weller um, scenery here. They have it marked as a, a vase. Sure, fair. Uh, I would probably maybe label it a little bit more of a basket, but good deal on it. 45, not bad. Oh, taller. now this is something I love. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this amber glass with that opalescent. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, tell me that doesn't look like a mother of pearl or no, like a cameo. Do you, like a real cameo, like real carved shell. I think that's the look that they were going for. I think they achieved it beautifully. It's only $18. Keeping in mind it's 25% off. There is a little air bubble. $18? That thing is stunning. It is beautiful. Sculpturally, it's done very well. The quality of the overall glass, the control of the opalescence, that thickness there towards the, the crease, the bend, and how it ombres out. For, oh, it's stunning. I love this piece. This is going to be a hard one to let go. Um, but this is, again, this is why they say buy what you love. Because if you're stuck with it... <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with it? Um, if I got stuck with this, I would proudly display that bad boy. Uh, I thought this was French art. Um, it, I, it's pretty. And then I flipped it over and it's a hundred dollars. So I said, back you go. <laughs> now this piece I did know was Fenton. This thing is like a brick. It is solid glass. And then I turned, was like, oh, this, here, here. Oh, hey, where are you going? And I was like, oh, $12? There's 25% off of this. I saw somebody price this at 85 bucks once. So yeah, I'm going to pick that up. Look at that deep saturated blue. Isn't that stunning though? Oh my goodness. Like I said, it's a solid piece. So we're 100% going to pick that up. How good would that be for your 4th of July? Oh my gosh. Add this into your Christmas. I'm telling you, put in those blues in your Christmas. Use this in your winter decor. Oh my gosh. Yes. 100%. Love it. It's versatile. Alrighty, guys, we're getting close to the end here. It's been an amazing day. Do you see some little figurines down here? These guys actually are marked, in fact, Disney, which was interesting. Hmm. Then over here, I spot these two carnival glass. So I'm like, hmm, those look antique. $40. I'm like, what's your base color? <gasps> And I saw GC Flash. Cobalt. Oh, yeah, we're going to get that. Mm -hmm. I do believe that these are Fenton, if I'm not mistaken. Do you see? Look at how thick that glass is. Do you see how thick the carnival effect? And they look metallic. I mean, truthfully, it's absolutely stunning. There was a sale, too, you guys. It was 25% off. That's right. Yeah, the pair was $40 with 25% off. I was like, what is that? Ew, it's a paper towel. Somebody was trying to clean it, and you know what happened? The paper towel ripped, and they couldn't figure out how to get it out. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, checking out, just to make sure I don't miss anything. I do see this set of yours. Unfortunately, I know from past experience they are damaged. So I'm going to leave that there. Oh, look at him. He's not having a good day. Hmm. Oh, well, sir, you're alone in that boat, because we're having a real good day today here. Loving it. I'm going to check out what's going on in here. We got some more sales. Don't really see anything. Some cut to clear, but I think those are a little bit more of the contemporary era. Mm, yeah, no, a lot of clear, standard, molded, some cut glass, Yadro-esque, loving this Celadon deer. Ooh, it's $40. Put it back. Michael, put him down. <laughs> um, I have no idea who that is, but... Ooh, I love this, this Ibis or Ram. Um, look at that. Really pretty, unusual subject matter. It, it was cool, but it, I was like, mm, it's a little too specific. Oh, and then I spotted a very Thousand Eye-esque uh, clear glass. I don't know. I kind of, mm, I should have got this one, I think. I was like, oh, okay, we're going to play with this one too, apparently. Ooh. I don't know. I think that's a really pretty piece of glass, Michael. Why did you not get that? Mm. Yeah, see, uh, Steuben glass. Okay, that's all well and good, but here's the thing. You have the name. You might have it, but is the subject matter speaking to me? No, it's not. So it's just like one of those things. Just because it, it has a name to it, to me, doesn't give it intrinsic value. Um, the idea of the concept, to me, behind good art or a good piece is that it evokes a feeling, even if it's a sense of nostalgia um, or a sense of wonder. That's what makes something valuable. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Basket time. 
Alrighty guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Obviously I have a situation occurring. I will figure it out, don't worry. Um, this is just the stuff that we found upstairs plus all of the stuff we found downstairs. I think we got some great things, some really good deals. I'm gonna wrap up the video here and I will see you outside in just a moment. Oh my gosh, I am out of breath. I had to carry all that stuff out to the car and of course I had to park away as far as possible because of the flea market this morning. Goodness, what an amazing day today. You guys, I think this is going to be most definitely the longest shop with me video that I have ever done. I hope that you guys enjoy the day today. It was a great time, great folks here at Big Valley Antiques. A pleasure to get to meet so many people. Thank you so much for making my day. I appreciate it. I cannot recommend coming here again. We are in Milroy, Pennsylvania. Check it out, Big Valley Antiques. It's amazing. Don't forget guys, if you are not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'd appreciate it, it's for free. And leave me a comment down below, letting me know what your favorite find of the day was or the thing that you most are screaming at the screen that I can't, you can't believe that I left behind. That's it guys, remember, until next time, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.